I don't think any state in America has the record for dealing with, in this case, the most vulnerable immigrant communities that we do, whether it's driver's licenses, in-state uh, tuition and financial aid for DREAMers, um, whether it's the way we handle the Afghan refugees, literally flawlessly. We had more refugees come through New Jersey than any other state in America. And at the uh, time that was going through McGuire, Dick's Lakers. You, you betcha. Uh, but they've all been dispersed mm -hmm. long ago into communities around the country, in fairness, not just in New Jersey, uh, but overwhelmingly without incident. So I think our track record stands for itself. Secondly, I think it is an embarrassment that this, so, at least part of what that statement uh, from the Republican uh, leader said, I would agree with. Let's go, let, let's figure this out. And I've felt this for a long time, that there are three legs to the stool, the, the comprehensive immigration reform, and one of them is to responsibly and humanely secure our borders once and for all. That's one leg. A second leg is to give a path uh, to some status for the probably now 15 million or more folks who are already in the United States uh, to give them that security. And frankly, that's not just good for them, it's good for the country. And then the third leg is to have a responsible, smart uh, visa and immigration, legal visa and immig immigration regime that allows us to attract the very types of people we want to attract in this country and among other things fill the jobs uh, that we're having a hard time filling, particularly in the value-added uh, uh, job uh, sector. We've always been a nation of immigrants, but that doesn't mean you, you, it could be the Wild West. Now, specific to Atlantic City, we've not heard this directly from the feds. We've not heard it from the White House. Uh, but not only what I call on the White House and Congress to do what I just said, that three-legged stool, let's finally fix this once and for all, I don't see any scenario, Eric, where we're going to be able to take in um, a, a program in, in Atlantic City or, frankly, elsewhere in the state. We are already seeing folks in New Jersey that have probably swelled into Jersey from New York City or from other locations, but you need scale, enormous amount of federal support, resources that go beyond anything that we can afford. Putting everything else aside, I just don't see it. Um, and I, I would suspect that that'll continue to be the case.